Okay guys, uh, hi, it's just me, Bark, today. Uh, I just got Age of Empires 3 and wanted to try it out. Um, basically I really like Age of Empires 2, uh, I'm excited about Age of Empires 4. Uh, I have barely played Age of Empires 3 quite a long time ago, it wasn't even like when it came out or anything, just I randomly got a chance to try it. Uh, so I played a couple of games, but um, I want to play the campaign. Uh, I probably don't need to do the learn to play, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I'm planning on doing the campaign, and uh, hopefully you guys can just kind of take a tour of the game with me. Your explorer has just set foot on the shores of the New World. Goody. During this tutorial, Ready. if you're ever confused about what to do... Next, click yes. on the flashing objectives button. Thank you. To move your explorer, you must first select him. Ready. Left click the explorer to select him now. I can do yes. that. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Now with the explorer selected, Right click on the ground near yes. the flag to move him. Well right. done. I'm sure if I was uh, m more learned, are ready for your orders. To I would have, I would know once. who Francis Dampier is. Perfect. But now I do right not. Click the ground near the flag. Ready. Yes. Yes. The musketeers Amen. have joined Amen. your explorer, Amen. and you are now ready to begin exploring. Yes, yes, right. Select all four units Amen. by dragging a box around them. Yes. Amen. Now, right-click the ground near the next flag to move further inland. Yes. Amen. Let's go explore. Amen. It's a pretty good-looking uh, strategy game. Yes. Um, like the models are uh, pretty good. The trees, I think, are 2D, but they look pretty good. Oh, I think I'm supposed to click on this flag. Your units are nearing the edge of the screen. Moving your cursor to the edge of the screen will scroll the view in the main game window. Try this now. Yep. Scroll the view to the left until you see yes. the next flag. Excellent. It's not my first radio. Oh well. Move your explorer and the musketeers to the next flag. As your units move deeper into the right. wilderness, yes. notice that more and more of the landscape is revealed. Hmm. Once your units have explored an area, you will always be able to see the terrain, but you will only be able to see enemy troops if you have units near them. This is called Fog of War. The town center is the first building Whoa. in the colony. When a game begins, you will receive several settlers and crates of resources at your town center. Oh, okay, that's cool. Resources are used to construct additional buildings and train soldiers. This is all food. Your settlers will immediately start gathering resources from the crates, but you can redirect them if you like. Okay, Try interesting. Try this now. Select a settler. Now right-click on one of the flashing trees. Yes, Forster. Ooh, uh, accidentally Good job. The settler will now gather wood from the tree. Settlers can also gather food from animals and mills, and coin from mines. All Excuse me. Resources if your colony is going to survive. Proof from animals, mills. Okay. That sound and the flashing shipment icon indicate that you may now send a shipment from the home city. Click on the flashing home city button now. During a game of Age of Empires 3, visit the home city now and then to send shipments of resources, settlers, or soldiers. So I can get two settlers, 300 food, probably best to send additional settlers to help your 200 wood, uh, 
Seeing houses and manors builds much better. Interesting. Okay. Left click the flashing button to return to the new world. Advancing to the colonial age would allow you to construct new buildings and train soldiers. A livestock pen. You have been given enough resources to advance to the colonial age. Select the town center. Now click on the gold button. Then select a politician okay. to advance to the colonial age. Colonial age politician. So I can get two settlers or four cows. Uh, I feel like settlers aren't going to be a problem. I'm going to get cows. This is the Minutemen? Interesting. All right. So you now have cows. The colonial age. Build, build a, a barracks market. to help defend your colony. I Select a, a settler. Click the flashing barracks mill. button. Livestock pen. Now place the barracks somewhere sure. near your town center. Oh, it has a it has this nice kind of snap to feature, uh, which is kind of cool. So now I can get more settlers. I can get archers, musketeers, ships to outpost wagons. I can transform to outhouses or blockhouses. Um, I guess let's get uh, some bowmen. Why not? Um, let's just build some stuff. So I'm gonna figure out what this does. Fatten faster when on a pen, and they train sheep. Hi. We can also build a dock. It would be wise to train some additional soldiers to protect the colony. For the purposes so I can of get this tutorial, longbowmen, you have been given pikemen, some extra resources. And musketeers. Yes. Select the barracks. Now click the flashing musketeer button five times. You are now training a small yes. group of musketeers. Ready one. Continue to gather resources and explore. Livestock fat and faster. Fantastic life pin. I don't know if there's actually any fish. Um, yes. What else can I build? Uh, artillery, stable, church, wall. That sound means your musketeers post. are ready. And just oh, interesting, in time they built too. all five at a time. Spanish cavalry are on the way to raid your colony. To attack oh, the no. cavalry, select the musketeers, then right click the enemy units. Yes. Yes. Lion. Huzzah. We defeated the enemy cavalry and successfully defended the colony. Yes. That's kind of cool. Congratulations. You're Cheering. now ready to go on to the second tutorial called Try a Game. Let's try a game. Try playing a complete game against a computer opponent with helpful advice. Welcome to the new okay. world. Your colonists have emerged from the town center and are ready to begin work. During this tutorial, I will offer suggestions now and then. But for the most part, you are on your own. Feel oh, free to explore the game and try different things. I will do so. Okay. Um, During this tutorial, if you're ever confused about what to do villagers, next, v. click on the flashing objectives button. Yes. Uh, let's get some berries. Yes. Let's go explore. You um, may want to send your explorer out into the wilderness to reveal the map and find more let's resources. Let's go ahead and get a mill. Uh, apparently mills come with farms, so that's interesting. Ooh, I need a house. Uh, what is house? Uh, house is E. I need wood Consider for that. A That's to bad. Support additional population. You can then train more settlers. I wonder if I should cancel this. You have found a silver mine. If you need coin, you can task your settlers on the mine to gather it. Huh. 
So this is a farm. Ready. Interesting. And you don't return, a you just resident? mine wood? Interesting. House. Ready, rise. You want rise. Huh. Ten attack. Yes, you want one fifty HP is a lot. Yes. Task settlers on your mill, and they will gather food. You want. Oh yeah, I need to do this. So what does this do? Team houses and manors build much faster. This card may be sent one time. Um, yeah, let's just stick with villagers. Um, where's my population? 14 out of 20. Let's go ahead and build another one. Um, what do I need for age 2? Just 500 food. Oh, interesting. A shipment is ready in the home city. Return to the home city and use your shipments to send additional settlers, soldiers, or resources. Uh, okay, let's get. Uh, I guess this card? Um, limited to 10 gatherers. Okay, so it costs, it costs whatever this bar is. 196 experience. Ready. Boy, that takes forever, huh? You can build a trading post. Well, I guess just this uh, explore around some more. We definitely need more villagers. Villagers gather food from hunted animals faster. Villagers gather wood faster. Villagers gather coin faster. Villager attack increase. Villager HP increase. Um, okay. Um, we'll go ahead and try that. One outpost wagon and chest of two hundred gold. Gather more sure. Food so you can advance to the colonial age. You have discovered a new village. You if you build a trading post on the trading post site near the village, you will ally with the Iroquois. Right. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get villager HP. Boy, that's a lot of wood. I think it's trading post called wood. Yes, you won. Come on, ready. Yes. So I have a trading post now. Iroquois Lacrosse practices the Oracle Lacrosse range infantry attack increase. The Iroquois allow you to train tomahawks and mantlets out of your barracks. Consider building a barracks so you can defend your colony. 
Okay. Boy, I'm really surprised how long like these berries last. Interesting. Um, so let's snipe a bear. And do I have a worker or something? Yes. Okay, so I have an outpost wagon that can just build an outpost. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I have a chest of coin. Okay. Um, right. Sound means you have discovered Ready a trade route. Right. Commandments. If you build trading posts yes. at the trading post sites along the route, you will earn extra experience. Yes. Okay, I have an outpost. Deliver home city shipments to this building. Two hundred and fifty gold. Oh, I can just go ahead and advance. I think it's probably better to get more villagers. Um, this is really interesting. I think. Um, Now I have this. It's generating experience. Upgrades this trading post to use stagecoasters to deliver resources, move faster, and provides yes. more line of sight. Interesting. Right. So, like, you want to. Like, really defend uh, your, like, trading posts? Oh no, I'm out of manners. Caravel? Sure. I don't think I have a dock yet. Uh, yes, yes. I guess let's go ahead and build a dock. Yes, yes. Uh, which one's dock? Dock is D. Use your Makes caravel sense. to explore the coastline. Your caravel can also be used to fish. With the caravel selected, right click on yes. fish to gather Ready. food. Yes. That's crazy. Right. How posts normally take a long time. Makes sense. Okay, so archaic long range archer good against infantry. Archaic heavy infantry good against cavalry and buildings. Heavy ranged infantry armed with a bayonet to beat cavalry. Good against cavalry and buildings. Okay, 75, 25, 40, 40. And 60-40. Interesting. Okay. Um, sure. Galleon. If you build a stable, you can train cavalry to fight alongside your others. Canoe. Frigate. Carinade, worship Consider attack building increase, an artillery foundry increase, and training falconets boats, to fight the enemy gather food infantry. from fish and coin and rangers faster. Consider building an artillery foundry and training falconets to fight enemy infantry. Okay. Um, Ready. Send your soldiers to raid the enemy settlers and houses, but be careful not to get too close to his town center. Yes, Sure. Okay. Fort seems good. Yes. 
Infinite source of food. I mean, infinite source of gold. Arsenal. Remember, you can build a stable more to train additional cavalry types. Yes. Foster. Ready. Yes. You won. I'm like so short on wood yes. right now. Town center. Come on, Emma. Yes. Yes. He won. He made us all. Yes. wasn't allowing me to buy new ones yes. for some reason. Man, outposts are super expensive. I guess I did just build a bunch of ships. My phone is making a lot of noise, I'm sorry. Heavy ranged infantry. What is this? Light artillery. Interesting. Um. Ready. Yes. Oh no, there's a pikeman. Okay, so you can actually get better outposts. We have a covered wagon. We can convert. I guess I don't want it too close he to water. Ready, Forster. Right. Commandament, yes. ready. Commandament, yes. Commandament, yes. He wish. Interesting. Um, flare. Flare summary. What is this? Yes. Oh, interesting. Ready. Commandment. Ready. Yes. Commandment. Yes. Oh, okay, so I have a ton of idle villagers. Could be better, I guess. Ready. Ready. Um. Yes. Four star. Commandment. Uh, let's see. So now I can build veteran dragoons, which are ranged cavalry good against cavalry, and hussars, which are light cavalry armed with cold steel. Okay. Um, I wanted to build a foundry. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can get. Ooh, and I have a fort. Um, so, sheep cost 100, herd animal fattens over time, 
Gotten faster test on a livestock pen. Line of sight increased. Artillery and combat buildings do more damage against warships. Hand cavalry hit point increased. Range cavalry attack and range increase. Archer and hand infantry HP. Musketeer Janissary Highlander Grenadier attack increased. Skirmishers armed with rifles do more damage against heavy infantry. Interesting. You have located the enemy colony. And we did. Um, which one is town center? Yes, yes. Come on, this one? Okay, so forts you just kind of build whatever. are really interesting. You have trained your first falconet. Yes. Falconets are extensive and vulnerable to enemy cavalry. Consider protecting them with infantry. Whoa, that range. For destroying enemy buildings. Ooh, there's Train five the ages. Center has been destroyed. Congratulations. Hey. You're now ready to play the campaign. Try a skirmish against computer opponents. Or go online and compete mm. in multiplayer. I don't think I can do that. But cool. Cool. Well, I think that'll be it for today. Um I'll probably be back. We can do the campaign. Uh, I'll probably do some more skirmishes as well. Um, interesting. Spanish earns home city shipments faster. Best units are the pikemen, the rodolero, and the lancer. 
British. Manor houses spawn settlers when built. Best units are the Musketeer and Hussar. This is the French. Villagers and courier couriers are expensive, but gather and fight better than settlers. Interesting. Portuguese gets a free covered wagon with every age. Whoa, that's crazy, right? Best units are Musketeer and the Dragoon. Dutch, small settler population, uh, but can build banks to produce coin. Settlers cost coin. Skirmishers and the Routier, that sounds interesting. Russian, trained settlers and infantry in batches. Blockhouses combines an outpost and barracks. Best units are the Grenadiers uh, and Cavalry Archers. Uh, Germans, free Ulan with every shipment. Two kinds of villagers, best units are the Scribbers and the Ulan. Ottomans, town centers produce settlers for free. That sounds crazy. Mosques, improve settler position. Uh, best units are the Grenadier and Hussar. Cool. Well, seriously, that it's it, guys. Uh, I'll be back with more Age of Empires 3 soon.